G'day, welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's a very deceptively simple high school problem. It goes as follows. What is the hundreds digits of 2011 raised to the 2011 power? 2000, whoops, whoops, 11 to the 2011th power. What is the hundreds digit? So okay, so I could work that out. Actually, I couldn't work that out. There's gonna be a huge number. There's no way I'm gonna work that one out. So somehow I'm gonna to get to the hundreds digit of that without working it out. Hmm, I guess it's going to be huge. Uh, hundreds digit, hundreds digits, what is that? Um, okay, so it's going to be something that ends in some digits, maybe A, B, C, D. Uh, the very last digit is the what? The ones, the second to large, last is the tens. All right, the third to last digit is the hundreds digit. So somehow, without actually working this out, I need to deduce what the third to last digit is going to be. Something to do with the hundreds. Okay, all right. Um, well, this question doesn't feel out of my normal comfort zone. I mean, it's just arithmetic in some sense. So I feel like there are tools available to me. I just don't know what to do. So I'll engage what I call strategy number one, which is engage in successful flailing. That is, I've got a hint of what I need to do, just don't know how to put things together. So I'll flail. I'll flail on this one for a while and see, see if things come out from it. Uh, hundreds digits. So, so I just want to focus on the hundreds part. So that means I can ignore any thousands part. Don't care about thousands or ten thousand and so on. Um, I, I kind of want to say I can ignore the tens part, but if I do some work, there are carries that could go on, fit, fit, even with the ones. If like, I do some multiplications, there could be carries that affect the tens and carries that affect the hundreds. So maybe I want to just focus on the last three digits to make sure I cover all carries in whatever I'm going to do next, because I still don't know what it is. I'm, I'm fla floundering right now. What am I going to do? All right, so, so I've just at least realized I can ignore stuff with thousands in it. So let's look at this, 2011 to the, some big power. It's 2000 plus 10 plus one. If I really break down at least the hundreds, tens, thousands, and ones part of that guy, it's that. And I know I can ignore things with thousands in it. And that's gonna be raised to a huge power. So I'll get powers of this, powers of that, powers of that, all combined together in some complicated way. But okay, that reminds me of the binomial theorem, because we learn in school some formula for x plus y to the nth power, how to expand that out. But this is not a binomial theorem, this is a three things. So I guess it's what, trinomial theorem. X plus Y plus Z to the nth power. All right, well, these theorems, what do they say? They are in fact gonna be sums of stuff, so it's a big sum, I'm not gonna write it all out. But it's about powers of X, Y, and Z. So it'd be X to the A, Y to the B, Z to the C or something. Uh, where these three powers add up to the number N. And there's gonna be some coefficient and the formula says, if you remember this theorem correctly, is like whatever power you're dealing with the n factorial over the individual powers of the little exponents in here factorialized. So it's a sum of all that sort of stuff. Ugh, that looks ghastly. Let's, let's take it really slowly. So remember, don't care about thousands, just want hundreds, tens, and ones. All right. So let's, let's do this. So this will equal powers of this, powers of that, powers of that combined together in this funny coefficient in the front. I don't want any of those, don't care about those. The only ones I care about, so there'll be stuff with thousands in it, plus stuff with hundreds and so forth in it. How do I get to uh, hundreds? Well, I could have 2,000 to the zeroth power, don't want them, remember. I would have 10 cubed, 10 to the fourth? No, that give me 1,000. 10 squared is the highest that could be, and one to the, okay. These powers have to add up to 2,011, so that must be 2,009. And the coefficient here would be this formula for that, which is the big power, 2011 factorial over each of these factorialized. Zero factorial, two factorial, 2009 factorial. All right, what else could I have? Um, that would be the hundreds. I guess I could have the tens. So that would come from 2000 to the zero, don't want any of the thousands, 10 to the one, and one to the, uh, I have to add up 2011, 2010. So far, so good. I'm, I'm kind of losing track in the mess of all this, but I think I'm still hanging on. Uh, coefficient here would be. 2011 factorial, uh, zero factorial, one factorial, 2010 factorial. All right, uh, what else could I have? Tens is 100, 10 to the one is tens, the ones, 10 to the zero. Uh, 2000 to the zero, do any of those, 10 to the zero is just one, one to the 2011, go up to 2011 again. <sighs> Running all out, zero factorial, zero factorial, 2011 factorial. All right, and there's lots more terms, but they're all in the category of thousands, so bingo. Oops, that's what this thing looks like. 
All right. Um, okay, this isn't too bad. This one, something to the zero is one. Something to the zero is one. One to anything is one. All that is one. Uh, 2,000 11 factorial over zero factorial, zero factorial. They're all ones over 2,000 11 factorial. Uh, cancel out. That's one. All this is just one. <sighs> okay. One, ten, one. That's just ten times 2,000 11 factorial over 2,010 factorial. That is 2,011 times 10, because our factorials work out, just have the 2,011 on the top. Okay, not too bad. Um, I'm going to leave this one for you. That's just zero, 1, that's just 1, that's 100, that's not too bad. You'll get what this one is, and then we've got thousands, and that is what 2,011 is to the 2,011 equals thousands plus stuff. I have a feeling when we work out what that stuff is, we're going to be grand. I bet you can see, actually, what the last three digits are. I feel like I could do it. If I work that out, I bet it's going to sit there. All right, brilliant. This question looks so innocent, and it turned out to be quite involved, but now it feels doable again. Yay. So I invite you, do it. Get an answer. What is that third to last digit? And we get an answer. Compare it to the answer in the essay that goes with this video. It'd be good to compare notes on this one. All right. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.